So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we return back to our Masterly campaign after the last episode. Of course, if you haven't checked that one out, check it out. It was slightly different to what I normally do because it was more of a, well it was, a rant uh, about Legend difficulty and how much it's sort of just boosted and there's a handicap and all that. But anyway, we're not going to worry about that today, we're going to dive right into the action. Um, I, I do have a couple of things going on right now, sort of life-wise, so... I am moving in about a month's time, so I've got a lot of things to sort out, so the videos might be a little bit less than normal, but once we are settled and, and sorted, then things will be back to normal. Anyway, we'll continue to dish out the videos either way. We are going to play on Superstar. That's the name of the game today. Let's play on Superstar and let's see how this goes. Uh, 13 minutes, I think, is fine, or maybe we'll go 14. There you go, nice and not rushed. And we are taking on Roma, and if you have a look at them in the table... Second place. So for them, really have to win. Otherwise, Juventus will be 10 points ahead of them. But we have to win so we can close the gap to them uh, down to four points. And possibly, you know, go ahead of, of Napoli if they do lose. So it's a pretty uh, pretty important game. Uh, other things that I've sort of gone through and done, nothing too crazy. I mean, negotiations, I'm still kind of waiting because I'm, uh, my scouts are off and about right now. So... I'm waiting for them to come back. There isn't really anyone here that would tickle my fancy of, of picking anyone up. When it comes to my team itself, we had a couple of offers as well. Bonaventura, not accepting it. Atal, not accepting it. Paqueta, no, definitely not. Um, however, Castellejo actually went in here and I renegotiated for Zaha. It's not going to happen. I, I, no way would they sell you know, Zaha and get Castellejo in. But you never know. It's Pez. You never know. Uh, elsewhere, what have we got here? This is uh, a loan deal. So we'll just go ahead and accept that. Oh, no, that was a renew the contract. All right, well, there we go. Renew that one. Uh, we also renewed Maldini's too. When it comes to player numbers quickly also, um, I did remove number three. I, I think someone mentioned that Maldini, obviously Paolo Maldini used to play for AC Milan, was a legend. Um, was number three and they said that no one has number three anymore so I've replaced a towel was three I've made him 15 and I've put Zlatan as 21 which is what he is so that's that's fixed that so there we go so let's have a look at today's matchup this is what we're going to be looking for they're playing a 4-2-1-3 pretty good side I mean I wouldn't you know rule them out Clive starting on the bench Pastori's on the bench but you know Undo is a pretty good player on the right hand side Parotti on the left um, Zanolo in the middle, also very good. And obviously we've got Mikatarian, former Man United player. But for us, I think we're just going to go for this. It works. It looks all right. I mean, Piontek and Ibrahimovic, really, if I'm going to play them two together, then they've got to start winning the headers because that's what you're going to look for. Piontek is not the quickest. Obviously, Zlatan is not quick at all. But they're good aerial threats. So these boys... Atau and Rafa got to be up and down, lads. Up and down and whip those balls in. Anyway, let's dive into the action. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Smash the like button if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't. And uh, yeah, here we go. So the Rossoneri get us underway. Taking on second place Roma. And it's a very, very big match for them. Of course, for Roma, they want to try and keep pace with Juventus. Who continue to just win game after game. Barely dropped points this season. But are we going to see a little bit of gel and consistency here with Piontek and uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic? They've only had a couple of games together, but still sort of waiting to see Piontek burst into life. Zlatan has scored a couple of goals, so he's certainly showing that he's ready to fire in City at. Now here comes Paqueta. They do miss him when he isn't playing. Ball's fed up the line. Flicked on, but it's uh, not the greatest pass. And Bonaventura, lovely ball over the top, looking for Piante there. Ibrahimovic on the charge. Zaniolo with the ball now. He's it inside to Mkhitaryan. Played uh, quite a while, of course, in the Premier League. An early chance for Roma. There's a lot of red shirts to choose from. Paqueta fires it near post. Tao picks it up. It's gone all the way back to uh, Rafa Silva. Nice bit of acceleration. Zlatan was lurking, but it was just over the top of him. And uh, smashes it clear. It's a foot race between the forward and Romagnoli, but centre-back did well. 
And AC Milan can try and work the ball forward. Bonaventura. Keta. Deft touch to find Kessie. And he says to Rafa Silva, go on, son. We want you to run onto the ball. And it's an inviting ball as well. And this is a chance. Just needs someone to lay it back to. But he's laid it all the way back to Bonaventura. I don't think he was meant to, but it really was his only option. Rafa Silva. Some space. It's not the best pass by him. Kessie does like to just sort of pick it up in the middle. Now, chance for AC Milan, possibly. Ibrahimovic, Piontek, Ibrahimovic! Oh, it's a beauty! The man is on fire right now. What a finish that was. Couldn't have struck it any sweeter. Celebration and a half. Now, look at this quick give and go with his partner in crime. Watch, here it is. Bang, bang, gets it back. But the finish is just perfectly executed. Bottom corner. Nothing the keeper can possibly do. You can have two goalies in there. He's not saving that. The king is back. So 29 minutes played. And that will force Roma to maybe play a little bit more adventurous. Try and get back into this one. And they have got a lot of pace. I mean, you've got Cliver on the bench. I'm sure we'll see him later. I think Roma's strength are just like AC Milan's, where they have to really get the ball out wide. They are playing a 4-3-3. That's where the chances are going to come. The ball is swung around the other way. Perotti does manage to keep it alive. Great feet by him. Great save in the end by Donnarumma. Under picks it up, tries to turn, little deflection. It's all a little bit crazy, but finally AC Milan kicked the ball away. And it's almost like a switch has gone off for Roma. AC Milan got to be careful. Under, nice turn by him. Sadibo just hounding his man. Back to Florenzi. And uh, Kessi just kept his foot in there, didn't he? Just a, a word in the air for him. A chance for the set piece. Kolarov will swing it high towards the back post. It's comfortable for Toribo there. And now Zlatan Ibrahimovic has seen the run. Well, he's seen the run of a couple of players, but in the end, the execution was lacking. Spinozola. Able to turn now. Eight minutes to play. In this first half. Perotti. Does turn, but Romagnoli, very physically strong. Ibrahimovic now. Tried to find Rafa Silva. It was a good idea. But Rafa Silva's done uh, immensely well there. And Piontek, the referee, plays the advantage. Bonaventura says to Itau, well, get on your bike, mate. And possibly have a go. Oh, if he kept that down, it was in the top corner. Good play by the ref there to keep the ball flowing. The town does well here, takes it inside of the defender. Just needed to keep it down a fraction. Actually hit the top of the net. So the second half begins and uh, Eden Dzeko has been summoned relatively early here. The manager wanting maybe a little bit more up top, more of an aerial threat possibly. So that's what he's gone for, as Florenzi now looks to take on Taribo, lays it back, under, does fire one in towards the near post, the deflection could have gone anywhere. Here is Parati now, Mkhitaryan, back towards him, it's a nicely worked move, this by Roma, great defensive covering though, to get the foot in. AC Milan, I mean they'll be looking of course, oh wait a minute, here's a chance for AC Milan, oh, could have snuffed one out there, sloppy play at the back by Roma. Of course, they will be looking to snap up some players as this transfer window sort of draws on. They don't have the biggest budget in the world, so it's going to be about making the smart decisions and trying to find a player that's going to suit the Milan style of play, which right now is playing that 3-5-2. For the most part, it, it, it does give them a lot of options. Not with a ball like that. Mancini, oh, has taken a big deflection, and it's the second chance for Zlatan, oh, brilliant save by Lopez. But Roma, what are you doing at the back? 
almost gifting them a second and now it's Kessie Paqueta Rafa Silva Ibrahimovic was up Florenzi will get there and just smacks it into the stands and another change for Roma and we are going to see Kluivert coming on for Perotti And two changes for AC Milan. Piontek replaced by Rafael Leo. And Theo Hernandez comes on. Under. Nice play by him. I mean, that's where the problems have come, haven't they? From the flanks. Roma, they just need to work it more. Use what you have. That's a good ball to a towel. Got plenty of speed. Can he hold off his man? He can. Lays it back to Rafael Leo. He ought to try and whip it in. Ball's fed back. Bonaventura with a strike. And that one's nearly at the corner flag. And the final change for Roma. Pastore comes on. Now certainly not holding back. As we know what will happen if they lose. And AC Milan win. They close the gap to four points. If Juventus win, they extend the gap at the top of the table to ten points. And at this stage of the season, that very well could be enough. You just don't see them losing four or so matches Paqueta Bonaventura Zlatan we'll try to feed that one the other way Paqueta does get there now Theo Hernandez has he got the legs he has he's opened up a yard of space delivers it high towards the back post Rafael Leo got completely mullered the referee said don't worry about it Spinozola takes the short one final ten minutes here at the San Siro Roma have had their glimpses, but apart from that, nothing too crazy. Here's a chance for Theo Hernandez. He just wanted the run of Zlatan, but he's looking tired. Very well may be the next substitution. It's the Rossoneri, they just need to hold on. Well done. Masakio fires it round to Atal. Bonaventura, nice little... Uh, roulette there and an elbow in the face they weren't happy about that move straight out with the yellow card no question no hesitation look at this nice little move there and then close lined Oof, that was naughty wasn't it and the final change with a standing ovation for that man right there could be ultimately the winner of today's match with his fine finish but Rebic will be seen for the last eight or so minutes the towel's looking tired himself Romagnoli does he go does he stay he's decided to come across Tadebo completely missed the header there and he's lucky that well, there was no one else there look how stretched now this game is Oh, that's not a good pass from Matau. Although saying that, Rafael Leo should really be coming towards the ball. He's got the freshest legs. Should be working. Diawara. Mikatarian now. Ball up the line's a good one. And AC Milan have been caught here. Masakio tidily headers that back to Donnarumma. As we are ooh, into the final two minutes. Tadibo giving Luigi a bit of a heart attack there. Paqueta, beautiful ball round to a towel. There's not much time left. What will he do with it? Just taking it to the corner. That's a foul ref. No, it's not because he got the ball. And the referee does blow for full time. Not a game stacked full of chances, but the goal we saw was a pretty impressive one. And AC Milan will take it. A 1 0 win. So there we have it. I mean, it was 6 to 3. Yeah, you get what you get. I didn't play the best, but I'm also a little bit rusty, so I need to dive back into it. But man of the match was the big Swede, along with Piontek. So the other results, uh, there we go. As you know, I got smashed by Juve. Torino won. Uh, Cagliari lost to Lazio. Mm, didn't want that one. Bologna won. Lecce drew. Swallow won one nil. Napoli won. Uh, Inter won as well. Uh, none of the results went in our favour. Fiorentina drew. So there we have it. The only good thing is we, you know, knocked Roma down to third place and we closed the gap to four points. So, I mean, it's pretty close. You look at seventh place to second, there's only seven points separating those two or those teams. So apart from first now being, well, they are eight points ahead of Lazio, but still a long way to go. Lecce still struggling bottom of the table.
So we'll return to take on the next match in the next episode, um, which is going to be... I think Brescia is our next opponent. Yeah, there we go. Away from home, and they're lying. I mean, they're not playing too well. I think they're near the bottom of the table. Yeah, 17th place, 14 defeats this season. So see what we can do there. Let's quickly go to negotiations and see. This one must have broken down. Actually, I don't even know if they've come back about that one. But we do have... Oh, Frank Ribery is... Uh... <laughs> Come on now. I mean, maybe someone who wasn't 37 years of age. I know Ibrahimovic is old, but he's also a centre forward. You've got a winger who needs some pace. Yeah, I think Frank Ribery might not be the best choice. So, yeah, let's do a little bit of scouting that makes sense, boys. Yeah? Come on. Think about it. Uh, let's have a look here. Has this one gone through? No, the other one hasn't gone through yet. So, we're going to end it there. I mean, I still need to think about who I'm going to buy I just don't have too many funds. If we kind of go to... I mean, I do have some listed players that I was looking at. These are players from before, like, you know, Montinho, but he's 34. Obviously, Everton is a good player. The problem with this guy is... They're not going to want to sell him for what I have. He does have a 56 million release fee. So if I sold a player, yeah, it's a possibility. Once again, though... Is he going to come? Is he going to not? But he's a, certainly a player I'd look at purely because the guy's got a lot of speed. Good winger. But do I need a winger? And centre-backs. I mean, Boatang could be another option. But yeah, I kind of just want to wait and see, get a feel for what the scouts come back. I'm not in a rush to buy anyone right now. We still have, you know, all the way till the 31st. So, I mean, we only actually three matches. So three matches and we'll be done. So yeah, we'll definitely take into account the players that we need. But leave a comment. Let me know if you have you know any players that are cheap. Cheap, easy to get, and will make a difference. That's kind of what we're looking for. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back shortly. Until next time, take care. And also, that was Superstar, not Legend. So you could see that it, it didn't feel scripted. I actually felt like I could win. So there we go. All right, guys, girls, take care.